So let's review some incident or some people say accident investigation fundamentals. Now an accident is the unplanned release of energy or hazardous material resulting in personal injury or property damage. And that would be the most simplistic definition that I would use, you know, whenever I'm doing a course on accident investigation. So whenever we're looking at accidents, quite often someone will say, you know, the accident, and they'll, they'll list the direct cause. And, and let me give you an example of a direct cause. You have an employee that's driving their pickup truck, and they hit a power line, a power, a, a, a power pole. And somebody may say the cause of the accident was running into the pole. Well, that's the direct cause. Then you have some indirect causes, and maybe you've got three, four, or five indirect causes that led to the incident. Then you look at a basic cause or a root cause, and what we're looking at that is the actual fundamental root cause. And that may be the employee was improperly trained to drive the vehicle safely, or the employee was driving in an unsafe, careless manner. So we've got direct cause, indirect causes, and then basic causes. So again, to talk about the direct cause, the actual act which causes the accident. So as an example, a tool cuts into an energized power line. So that's actually what happens. The tool got into an energized power line. We want to make sure we don't stop there. We're talking about the direct cause, but what led to that? Then we talk about indirect causes. Let me give you some examples of an indirect cause with an unsafe act. An example would be a worker not wearing personal protective equipment, so that is an unsafe act. Let's talk about an unsafe condition. An example would be machinery without safety guards, or it could be an employee working on a roof without a guardrail for fall protection, so that's an unsafe condition. So let's go over some basic causes or some fundamental root causes. Maybe you've got management safety policy and decisions. An example, it's not comprehensive or not communicated. And I've worked with clients that have detailed safety procedures. The only problem is they've never trained nor communicated those procedures to their employees or their procedures don't understand them. Personal factors. Could be exhaustion, alcohol, drugs. Maybe there's, there's personal stress, so we've got personal factors. Could be environmental factors. Some examples would be poor visibility, poor weather, site cleanliness. Then you have organizational factors. Some examples would be inadequate training, inadequate rules and procedures. I've actually worked with clients that have procedures that actually contradict each other, where procedures where employees could not actually follow the procedure and do their job. So that would be an example of an organizational failure. 